All right, guys, so Canon, it has successfully developed the first megapixel single photon avalanche doid image sensor, aka SPAT sensor. SPAT sensors are a type of image sensor. You'll probably be asking yourself, what's the difference between a SPAT sensor and a CMOS sensor? Well, let me tell you right now. Both SPAT and CMOS sensor make use of the fact that light is made up of particles. However, with CMOS sensors, each pixel measures the amount of light that reaches the pixel within a given time. Whereas SPAT sensors measures each individual light particle that reaches each pixel. Each photon that enters the pixel immediately gets converted into an electric charge. And the electrons that result are eventually multiplied like an avalanche until they form a large signal charge that can be extracted as an image. To put it simple, CMOS sensors read light as electric signals by measuring the light that accumulates in the pixel. And this allows for noise to contaminate the information received. On the other hand, SPAT sensors will digitally count each photon particle, making it very hard for noise to contaminate the information. This means that you will get clearer images with the SPAT sensor. Canon incorporated a structural design that used technologies cultivated through the production of commercial use CMOS sensors. This design successfully kept the aperture rate at 100%, regardless of the pixel size, making it possible to capture all light that entered without any leakage, even if the number of pixels was increased. The result was the achievement of an unprecedented 1 million pixel SPAT sensor. This allows extremely fast information processing, making it even easier to capture images of very fast objects. The SPAT sensors that Canon has developed is also equipped with a global shutter that can capture videos of fast moving subjects while keeping their shapes accurately and distortion free unlike the rolling shutter method that you find in CMOS. According to the source, the development of the one megapixel SPAT sensor also means that 3D cameras will be able to identify depth information up to one megapixel. Also, one highlight that was very anticipated of this capability is the sensor is gonna have a high performance and eyes. Yes, robots, robots eyes. No! Yes, and other uh, technologies and other devices in the future will use this type of sensor. This effort from Canon will affect not only the camera world, but also other aspects of technology and how AI information is being processed. All right, guys, I hope this information is helpful. I just want to give you an update about this new sensor, you know, that I think is going to revolutionize the world. I am not sure when this sensor is going to be used in a camera uh i don't know if that they're waiting for you know next year or so or the next models that they create next year but i'm excited to see what will come out of these sensors all right guys so that's it for today don't forget to go and check out the products that i have on my online store i have presets you know Mark presets, Lightroom presets, I have some lots, and I have some freebies that you can use and they are very helpful. Do you guys know what to do? Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and see you guys next time. Peace.